Good afternoon. I'm Chris Scott with the Caddis Fly Shop in Eugene, Oregon. Today we're going to be showing you how to tie a popular saltwater fly called the Gotcha. The difference is today we're going to show you how to tie it with a lot of brand new materials from Hairline. And we'll show you how to do that right it's now. Gotcha with uh, Tamco 811S saltwater hook. Um, we're going to be using some Danville's flat wax nylon. This is a shell pink color. I'll start by just making some wraps right behind the eye. Get the thread started. And for this fly, we're going to use another new product from Hairline. This is a lead eye. It's called a double pupil eye. So I'm going to leave some space between the eye, the hook, and the lead eyes to finish the fly right there. There we go. I'll just figure eight this thread over the lead eyes to get it to sit in place well. At this point, after I get this far, I would suggest using some kind of adhesive like some clear cure that'll set on this and really keep it in place. Now I'm going to work this thread back towards the rear of the fly to the end of the shank where the bend begins. That's where I'm going to stop wrapping thread right about there. Now the tail for this is going to be some flashaboo about half a dozen strands of it. I'm just going to cinch that to the tail right there, right where the bend begins. About that long. I'm going to use this extra material just to bulk the body up, so I'll just wrap thread right over it and get up here to the front. And that'll all set down fine as I finish the fly. Once I've got that on there, I'm going to bring this forward right to behind the lead eyes and whip finish this thread off of the fly. And I'm going to start with another bobbin with another material. This is Vivas Iris. This is in a nice pink color. And I'll start that again right behind these lead eyes just to build a little bit of body. I'll clip off the tag end. Now I can work this material forward and back over the shank of the hook to build it as fat as I want it. So I'll go back and forth a few times just to build the body up. That looks good right about there. So I'll bring it forward just to behind the lead eyes and I'll whip finish this off. Just like so. Now I'll get that out of there. Now we're done with that. So I'll start again with my thread right here. I'll go ahead and clean up some of these tags. There we go. Now I'm going to bring this thread in front of the, the eyes and also turn the fly upside down in the vise. This is how this fly is going to ride with the hook up because we put the lead on the, on the top so that's locked like a keel and make the fly ride like so. Next thing is we'll put a little wing on there of some crystal flash. This is that pink crystal flash from Hairline. I'm just going to set it right in there behind the eye. There we go. And we'll want this to be about the same length as the tail or end where the tail ends back here just like so. Next as part of our wing we're going to use a piece of this coyote mask. This is a great new product from Hairline. It's really breathable. It looks great in the water when it's wet. Uh, you can use it in all types of different saltwater flies. Also something about this that I'm really impressed with is that there's a lot of different colors in one mask. There's everything from white to speckled, kind of dark, black and white. There's some sandy color in here. I'm going to go and find a spot in it where there's a little of everything and it's kind of sandy brown color for this fly. I think it works well with the pink. So I'll cut off a nice little tuft of that. Pull off the under fur so it sets nice over the hook. Just like so. Just about like so. Now I'm going to tie this in. After I straighten up the front of it square like so, I can set it right in there right behind the eye of the hook. Cinch it down. Make a couple finishing wraps over it just to kind of make sure it's not going anywhere. That looks great. Last but not least on this fly we're going to add some micro silicone legs. Another new product from Hairline. I'm going to use four strands of it. That's what it looks like. It's, a, it's called sand but it's got some pink color in there. I think it works good with the pinks in this fly. So I'm going to put four of those after I square them up. I'm going to set those right in in front of the, the coyote fur. Right like so. 
and those will just straight back over the top of the fly and look really good when it swims. So I'll bring the thread back so that it's all coming off the fly at the same point. There we go. And then continue making wraps to the to the eye. I want to make this so that it's nice and clean with thread wraps before I finish it off. Just about like so. I'm going to clip these off again about the same length as the tail and the wing. Everything should come together off the back of the fly there. And once that's clean like so, I'm going to get my whip finisher, whip finish off the front of it just like so. And there you go. And there it is. Gotcha.